I'm Paul Brady, New York Wines Ambassador to New York City. We're going to Craft Restaurant in Manhattan to talk to Brooks Frazier, who's the wine director there. I met Brooks in 2014 on a wine trip to Long Island. She was still a bartender at Gramercy Tavern. Uh, so I've known her for several years now, and she's uh, been highly interested in New York wines ever since we met. And so we're going to check in with her today to see what's going on at Craft with New York wines. New York Wines over the past decade, 15 years since I've been working in New York City restaurants. The quality has uh, improved overall. I think there's more producers that are focused and passionate and making really good wine, uh, and that's really showing. I think uh, the pioneers were making good wine from the start, but now there's more in the pool. The Hazlitt Gruner uh, Beltliner that we have uh, by the glass here, uh, I would find it just a really interesting wine. I think for me, Gruner as a New York State varietal is fairly new. Uh, I think it has a lot of potential. I think it's rich and lush and um, expressive and really just interesting. Uh, and I'm really excited to see how it ages and um, how it, what it looks like in the future for a, a bridal in the Finger Lakes and New York State. We have the Damiani MC Squared uh, offered by the bottle and I think it is uh, a really cool expression of Bordeaux varietals and shows what um, is possible in the Finger Lakes with those varietals. Uh, it's juicy, but it has um, that little underlying herbal and savory um, notes that I really love in Porto varietals. Uh, and I think it's uh, easy to get someone who uh, may, maybe doubts uh, New York State's wine potential with Porto varietals um, to, to get on board. Hi, my name is Brooks Frazier, beverage director at Craft here in New York City. See you at the New York Drinks New York Grand Tasting, March 26th at the Rainbow Room.